Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another brand new episode of Public Freakout Videos. Tonight on this crazy episode, we featured the best and most shocking public freakouts that were caught on camera. Now we have a lot of great clips to get through tonight, so make sure to slap a like on this video and let's jump right into it. Okay, and coming up first tonight, we jump right into the middle of some heated drama over a parking spot. Karen is filmed blocking a man from leaving until he apologizes for allegedly stealing her spot. The man who is filming clearly does not want any of this drama and tries his best to remove himself from this crazy situation, but does not have any luck. He tells this crazy Karen to get away from his car so that he can leave, but she refuses. Let's play the clip and see how this frustrating altercation comes to an end. I will. Away from I will. Vehicle so I can I will. close my door. Except for the I, fact miss, that you didn't... You're, I'm going to call the police. You're assaulting call me. The... Please get away from <laughs> me. I don't want anything to do I'm with you. I'm assaulting you? you? You're, you're le not letting me leave. That, and this is assaulting you? You're not letting me leave. So you're l stopping me from leaving. Call the so, police. Okay, I will. Do Please this. move away from me. Please I, get away from me. I didn't do anything to you. I was trying to have a conversation with you. I don't want to have a conversation with you. I, I don't understand. know you. You're so close to me with COVID. You don't have a mask on. It's insane. Can you please step away CPS. from me? Get away from me. So you're trying to tell me. I'm that just trying to tell you. I'm trying to close my door. And I was trying to tell and you. And you're, you're pulling my. You're because, hitting me. Because you're stopping me. Yes, because please I need you back, to hear. Please back away from me. I need you to this hear some words. This is insane. I will back up here, but you need to listen Miss, to me. Sit you're down. not. If you're that Can concerned, you, Miss, I'm concerned about you, you stopping me from leaving. That's what I'm concerned, I'm concerned with. About I'm going to go party. into the store and let them know that I'm you're concerned. stopping me. You can't stop I'm me. I'm concerned with I you parking. And our next video starts off with another Karen who is in the middle of belittling an employee at her local grocery store. Customers and other employees are left shocked as this irate, entitled woman is filmed lashing out at this poor employee who is just trying to do her job. The employee eventually bites back and tells this whacked out customer to calm down, but this just sets the Karen off even more. The employee responds back to this woman's childish tantrum by telling her to stop being disrespectful, in which Karen responds back by telling the employee to shut up. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation came to be. Did you go to school? Do you know what that means? Leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone. Jesus, you ought to listen to yourself sometimes. I was nice about it when I came in and asked for it. I don't want your help. I don't want your help. Get your supervisor. I'm the, I'm the manager. That's why I'm I don't want the manager. I said supervisor. Man, I'm God, girl, do you know how to shut up? Man. I don't want your help. Do you understand me? Yes, I do. You won't shut up. Do you don't have You don't have to shut up. Man, if you say anything, shut up. Because you're harassing me. Leave me the fuck alone. Do you not understand? Call your boss. Call your boss right now. Call your boss. You're not the one I want to talk to. Call your boss. And this next man came across a wild Karen at Walmart who was in the middle of cussing out and insulting Walmart employees and nearby children, so he decided to film her meltdown. After noticing that the man was filming her, she chased him out of the store and is now in the middle of confronting him. She says that he is being rude and invading her personal space before going on to say that she does not appreciate being filmed. He responds back by telling her that she deserves to be exposed to treating other people poorly. Let's take a look. Because you nothing, made me nothing you're doing here. Uncomfortable in front of my granddaughter, Not, and I don't find that to be appropriate. Nothing you're doing here is making me uncomfortable at all. I don't care. Well, good, because you know what? I have a few minutes to stand here, okay. and your behavior is inappropriate. Okay, I'll hang out here for you. I mean, what are you going to do? Post me on bad drivers because your behavior is inappropriate? My behavior, eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean,. I, I, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here. You ain't oh, going to get anywhere. Oh, I just anywhere. want to show everybody the real, real person that you are. Oh, okay. And how you're rude to me. Rude. You have no sense of rude. personal space. Rude. You accosted me to begin with. What? Okay, when I didn't even know who you are. Do you remember when... Do you remember you calling the kids there? cum trophies in Walmart? Don't talk to me about being rude. 
but you got in the middle of a conversation that wasn't your conversation. You're screaming at employees in Walmart. Get out of here. I'm not yelling at you. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, Lord have mercy. Huh? Why? Oh, God. You want to tell is... me why it is that you're yelling at me <laughs> when I am not being rude to you? <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Oh, this is hilarious to me. I am having a blast. I'm I sure think you that are. You being rude to me was appropriate. And I think that you should apologize too. Oh, yeah, no. And coming up next tonight, we jump right into the middle of a heated customer versus employee moment at a 7-Eleven gas station. Our video starts off with the customer and employee going at it head to head in a heated exchange. The customer says that if she keeps acting the way she is acting, then he's going to send this video to corporate. The employee eventually has enough and starts to dial 911. This sets the customer off and that's when the situation worsens as he films himself getting even more aggressive and hostile. Let's play the clip and see this crazy customer versus employee moment comes to an end. Uh, say what? You don't give a Wait till you get fired. You stupid as shit, bro. I'm stupid. I bet you just got this job. You just got this job. You just got this job. She should have came in. She don't got to pump. You dumb. Shut up. You could refund our money, you dumb. Because you don't know your job, you fat. Wait till the cops come, bro. You are stupid. Talking about hostile. Of course I'm going to be hostile. I've been here since 1030 waiting for your dumb. You ain't going to do shit. You just going to keep running your mouth and clapping and talking to your invisible friend. You want to keep talking to your invisible friend. You know how to refund? Wait till this go to your corporate. You calling police on customers that paid you. I just bought nine scratch-offs from your dumb ass, But you gonna call police on the customer that paid you, right? You got $20 in my pump, but I don't have my money, right? So whose fault is it? Yours. yours. Clearly yours. I paid you for scratch-offs. You don't know how to refund the money. You don't know how to pump the gas tank. So who's untrained? I need to talk to your store manager. I need to talk to your corporate. I need to talk to everybody about you. You're gonna be on YouTube, 7-Eleven Employee of the Year. What is your name? Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, take it off, Evelyn. <laughs> I see that E. I see that E and I see that big bush on your hair too. You wanna start getting roasted? Your nose ring. My girl hair way longer than yours. Why you call me? Wait, why? That's real hair. You got a bush. And these next customers storm into a Taco Bell to confront an employee who had allegedly flipped them off while in the drive-thru. The situation quickly gets heated as both parties are film lashing out at one another. Surprisingly, the Taco Bell employee is filmed coming from around the counter and chasing these customers outside of her store before making some pretty crazy threats and insults. The customers tell her to calm down otherwise she will lose her job, but the employee says that she does not care. Let's check it out. Why'd you flip me off? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You have to speak up like a real man. Why'd you flip me off? Can I you really want to start to Like I said, I am not afraid to lose my job to you. Why? Why did you flip me off? I'm not afraid to lose my job to you. You told me to get the um, out of that drive and then flip me off. Look, okay, look. If you're here just humiliating me on all your private, like, fresh on the weekend, let's just say, I'm pretty sure my dick is bigger than yours. And coming up next tonight, a customer films herself going off on a Dunkin' Donuts employee. The employee is left speechless after receiving an earful from this disgruntled customer who shows no signs of slowing down. For context, this customer claims that after taking too long to order, the Dunkin' Donuts employee had told her to make up her mind. This obviously did not sit well with the customer, and now she is confronting the rude employee at the drive through window. Let's play the clip and take a look. That's, how not, that's not how you talk to people. I'm entitled to make a mistake. Don't ask me to make up my mind. That wasn't on purpose. And you tell me to make, I'm not a kid. You don't talk to people like that. That's, that's very rude. I just moved around here maybe two weeks ago. And I ain't never heard nobody talk to me like that. I was entitled to a mistake. 
I said I got I wanted butter pecan, but black Walmart was on my mind. I don't eat that. That's why I had it confused. That's why I apologize when you said that. But don't say make up your mind. I wasn't playing a game with you. And finally tonight, this next hotel guest films himself confronting a dodgy hotel owner after he had refused to give him a new room or issue the guest with a refund after his hotel room had flooded. The customer films himself trying to resolve the issue, but this hotel owner has no intention of rectifying the situation. Left with no other option, the hotel guest starts to get loud as he warns the other customers that are around him to not stay at this hotel. Let's play the clip and take a look at this crazy situation. Man, I'm trying to figure out whether or not it's going to be done. Come now, call police. Call GC of hospitality. I'm not calling the police. So why? I already, I'm calling the police. You're, you're bugging me. I'm not bugging you. I'm a paying customer. Call the police then. I already told you I will call the maintenance guy. That's what I told you. And you also called me a liar earlier. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm not trying to butt in your head. I'm trying to figure this out. Why are you, why are you treating a paying customer this way? I'm waiting, man. You're gonna call the police? You're gonna give me an answer? You're gonna do your job? Can I have a Do I have a reservation? Oh, yeah. You just gonna, you just gonna ignore me like that, man? Still lock up. Because I still have a problem here that you're refusing to acknowledge. Is it okay that my room's been flooded all day? I'm fixing to start making a scene. Why do I get up, bro? <laughs> hey, just so you guys know, my room flooded. Homeboy says it's my fault, even though I've been gone all day, and he's refusing to do it. Just so you know, you might want to find a different one. And that is all we have time for tonight, guys, on this episode of Public Free Chat Videos. If you enjoyed tonight's episode, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.